hand washing is one of the most important ways you can keep from getting sick and spreading germs to others. Dirty hands spread disease. This hand washing demonstration will show you how hand washing can get rid of germs and chemicals that get on our hands every day. This gel is like the germs and chemicals that we get from things we touch throughout the day, like our toys and pets. If we then rub our eyes, nose, or mouth, or pick up something to eat, the germs or chemicals can get into our bodies and make us sick. Studies have shown that people touch their eyes, nose, and mouth about 25 times every hour without even realizing it. To get rid of these germs and chemicals, CDC recommends you follow these easy steps every time you wash your hands. Wet, lather, scrub, rinse, and dry. We're going to show you the right way to do each step. First, wet your hands with clean running water. Turn off the tap and apply soap. Then, lather your hands by rubbing them together with the soap. Be sure to lather the backs of your hands between your fingers and under your nails. Scrub your hands for at least 20 seconds. If you don't have a clock nearby, keep scrubbing until you've sung the happy birthday song twice. Rinse your hands well under clean running water. Dry your hands using a clean towel, electric hand dryer, or air dry them. Washing your hands using the steps we just demonstrated is very important to get hands completely clean. Let's see how well we got rid of the germs and chemicals. Great, no more germs and chemicals. Why is this so important? Germs and chemicals from unwashed hands can get into our foods and drinks when they're being prepared or when we're eating or drinking them, which can make us sick. Also, germs and chemicals from unwashed hands can be transferred to other objects like cell phones, tabletops, or toys, and then transferred to other people's hands. That's why it's so important to wash your hands following these steps. Wet, lather, scrub, rinse, and dry so you can stay healthy and help keep those around you healthy. For more information, visit cdc.gov forward slash hand washing. We ask a lot of you, and we are very grateful for all that you have done to slow and stop the spread of COVID-19 in the United States. Wearing a cloth face covering while in public is an important practice to slow the spread of the coronavirus. Evidence suggests that the virus can spread before people show symptoms, and from people who have the virus but never show symptoms. Me wearing a cloth face covering protects you and you wearing a cloth face covering protects me. Many items you may have in your home can be used to create a face covering. Your cloth face covering should reach above your nose and below your chin, like this, to cover your mouth and nostrils. It should fit snugly against your face at the side. Be made of multiple layers of fabric so you can still breathe through it and be able to launder and machine dry without damaging the material or shape. And importantly, remember to keep the N95 mask available for healthcare workers and first responders. Thank you to the American people for all you've done to protect, especially those who are most vulnerable of COVID-19. We are a resilient nation and we will emerge from this pandemic together stronger. How to clean and disinfect your home if someone has COVID-19. For common areas of the home. Each day, clean and disinfect high-touch surfaces and items. High-touch surfaces include tables, countertops, light switches, doorknobs, and cabinet handles. Put on disposable gloves. First, clean the surface with soap and water. Then, use a household disinfectant. Read the label to see how long you should keep the disinfectant on the surface. Have good airflow and ventilation. 
Follow instructions about rinsing off chemicals. Be sure to put products where children cannot reach them. To clean electronics, follow the manufacturer's instructions. Or use alcohol-based wipes or spray containing at least 70% alcohol. Wash dishes and utensils with soap and hot water or run them in a dishwasher. For sick areas or rooms of the home. A person who is sick should stay in a separate area or room and use a separate bathroom if possible. Only clean these areas if something gets soiled. This will help limit your contact. Have the person who is sick wear a cloth face covering. A caregiver may also wear a cloth face covering. Dedicate a lined trash can if available. Remove the gloves and wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. For more on cleaning and disinfecting your home for COVID-19, visit cdc.gov coronavirus.